Hi, this is Phone Arena, the video review of the budget friendly Nokia 5250. It has a 2.8 inch resistive screen and a resolution of 360 by 640, which means that everything looks reasonably good on its screen. Although the viewing angles of this phone are not very good, which may cause you a few problems. On the front side we have three physical buttons which are call, end and menu, while on the right side there is the volume rocker, the walk and walk slider as well as the dedicated camera button. The camera itself is located on the back side, while on the top side there is the 3.5mm jack, the charger port and the USB port. The interface of the Nokia 5250 is a typical Symbian experience, so we won't elaborate on its capabilities. This phone is optimized for messaging since it comes with a stylus out of the box and also has an easy to use virtual keyboard in landscape mode. The 2 megapixel camera of the Nokia 5250 is not doing a particularly good job as you can see from this photo taken by the phone. The Nokia 5250 is advertised as a substitute for your MP3 player, so let's take a look at its music playing capabilities. The very first thing that we notice is the familiar Nokia music player and now we are going to play a song. The call quality with the Nokia 5250 is generally good, although people on the other side of the line were complaining to us that they were hearing certain uh, ambient noises from their surroundings. The Nokia 5250 is a very affordable phone, however the lack of some vital features like 3G and Wi-Fi may prove to be massive disadvantages for quite a few people. For more information on this device please visit phonearena.com